Hi guys, welcome back to Battle Dev Channel. Today we will talk about loop using Carsons in SQL Server and uh, we will explain the concept and, uh, and we will create uh, a simple example. Carsons are used to loop into data. The first thing to do is uh, to get data and save them into a temporary table. On this data, we, we will have to loop and, uh, and to execute uh, some operations. Uh, in our example, we will execute a simple select operation. So the first thing to do is to select data. So we get it gets data into temp table. So we can use uh, an example table that we can find uh, into the uh, AdventureWorks uh, database and uh, we can uh, use the table for example the table uh, uh, the AdventureWorks uh, dot db dot uh, customer uh, sorry customers okay into this table we have the list of uh, all uh, our customers and we can uh, select for example only only three data the the first name the last name uh, and the email okay first name last name and uh, email address okay and we have to save them into a temporary table so then we can loop uh, on this data we save uh, into the table called the list okay after that uh, we have to declare variables uh, used to to loop into that data so declares variables okay we have to declare our three variables declare the first name as and varchar Last, last name and email last name and email okay after that we have to declare cursor so we have to write declare we can call it data cursor for select first name last name and address from list okay so we declared our cursor that selects data from our temporary table so we have to write open data cursor and fetch next from data cursor into into our variables so the first name the last name and the email then while fetch status equals to zero begin and Here we have to execute our operation. In uh, this case, uh, in our example, we will uh, we can execute a very simple operation. For for example, a simple uh, select first name, last name, and email. Okay, only to see that uh, our variable have been uh, filled correctly. Do something here. Okay. And then we have to copy this command, our facts next. And out of our while, we have to 
close our data cursor and the allocate data cursor. So our example is finished. So the first step is to get data into our uh, our temporary table. Uh, we have to create our variables. We have to create cursor opens cursor creates cursor opens cursors and uh, here loops into cursor data. Now we can execute it. So we can uh, do a select uh, a top 10 is better <laughs> for our example. Okay, so as we can see, uh, our uh, first name, last name and uh, email for the first 10 records have been uh, shown on the, on the screen as 10 separate select operations. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my BattleDev channel and to follow me on my Facebook page. Have a nice day, have a nice work. Bye bye.